Hi everyone, welcome to the Daly Society. If you wanna see the brand new patterns for November for indie patterns, hang around and join me for a cuppa. How are we all? I hope you're having a wonderful week. Whatever you're up to, I hope there's plenty of sewing involved. I've been very busy packing your wonderful orders and I've been thinking about all the sewing I wanna do for our next season here in Australia. Of course, we're in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's heading into the spring, summer. We're, we're well into spring, so heading into the summer kind of vibes. I'm thinking about dressmaking, a lot of new patterns I wanna make. Uh, there's also a lot of inspiration here for the Northern Hemisphere sewers who are heading into winter. And I know a lot of you guys have got heaps of cozy, cozy knits here that I think you're gonna love as well. Now, if you're watching every week and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you could do that. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the episode today, I would love a thumbs up. That does help other sewers like you find the channel. I also have an online store with beautiful fabrics and patterns. I'm going to link in the description box. A lot of you, uh, especially the overseas viewers that don't know about the Daly Society, that we do have an online store. We sell monthly themed bespoke boxes and fabrics and patterns as well. And we do ship worldwide. What I'm wearing today, this is a favorite shirt of mine. It's an I Am Patterns Lucian shirt. I always link in the description box what I'm wearing and also the fabric. Now the fabric is a Visco Shelly Lawn from Lady Macaroon. It's a really lovely, colourful and bright fabric. I don't have any left in store, but I've got a lot similar to this. But I really enjoy wearing shirts for this time of year because I love it when you can unbutton them, have a tank top underneath and almost use it like a kind of a throw of a jacket with jeans. So uh, nice and light for this time of year. So patterns for November, there's been quite a lot of new releases in the last few weeks. I've been trying to catch up with them and normally uh, I'll write them in my notes or a little diary so I can remember to tell you guys because I know that a lot of people love these these vlogs because it does tend to give a lot of sewing inspiration when you're maybe in a, stuck in a bit of a rut with your sewing and not knowing what to make. We have got a big release next week happening that is with the Lise Taylor Worldwide launch of with new pattern and beautiful new dress coming out. That is on the 10th of November. So if you love Lise Taylor patterns and fabrics, make sure you head on over to the website and you can sign up to the newsletter and be kept up to date. Now a gorgeous new skirt I've just seen from True Bias Patterns is called the Blair skirt and the Blair skirt's a beautiful woven skirt with a lovely button featured front it is just one of those classic really classy style skirts and I love the beautiful belt and buckle detail they've added there um, the great thing about this skirt is there's three different lengths there's optional uh, belt loops and beautiful inverted pleat pockets um, great thing with this is you can make it if you love a denim or a canvas linen corduroy uh, light or mid-weight wool um, so plenty of options there gabardine as well some beautiful gabardines uh, we have in the store at the moment will look perfect in this so the lovely feature with that the button front the three lengths I love the midi style length especially how they start it with the boots um, this one is great in size range comes from zero to eighteen or 14 to 32 and very very classic styling I love how they've uh, they've actually matched it up with a beautiful black turtleneck top that's a really nice classic style because you can then highlight a nice bold color rich colored skirt and make the skirt the feature uh, when you do that with a plain black high neck top and black boots it really does make the skirt then the feature make it pop i really so. love the way that um true bias does that in a simplistic style but a really gorgeous skirt uh, the next one has made a bit of a show on instagram it's very very popular it's the tilly and the buttons sunny jacket now this is a really lovely jacket you can do lots of different mixing and matching with things like prints and plain size ranges 6 to 34 you've got options with the collars you can do your plain collar or you can do a different kind of prairie style collar the only thing with a prairie collar is you need to watch your frill around the collar that you choose a fabric that's not too heavy and even though this is a mid to heavy weight uh, jacket the fabric uh, is classed as things like denims twills canvas cords jacquards and wools remember with the prairie collar if you're going to having be having that gathering or pleating around the collar that the thicker the fabric the um the more difficult it becomes to get a nice evenly dispersed gather around the collar so you can always do things like 
add on a feature like a trim that will contrast with the fabric as well but that one is a really lovely um, different take on maybe a denim jacket so if you're wanting something a little bit more unusual I've seen some beautiful versions of this sunny jacket and I think it's going to be a very popular pattern for Tilly in the buttons for maybe a good separate piece of the wardrobe. And the great thing is about a jacket like that is that you can take it through from summer to winter as well with a good layering feature. Yeah, I love it when designers come out with new collections and this one to me is a beautiful standout and of course paper cut patterns over in New Zealand. It's wonderful to hear that Katie um, from paper cut is recovering well and she's um, she's been ill with, um, with breast cancer and she's actually taken a bit of a break from printing or having paper patterns printed it's so good to hear that she's on the mend and that her paper patterns are being reprinted and here at the Daly Society we're going to be stocking her beautiful new patterns so we'll be getting a lot of her new range especially this collection I am so desperate to have this new collection in store it's called slow down and of course heading into summer uh, I am really desperate to get my hands on these so the beautiful collection um, the slow down collection the first featured pattern is the alto dress and top it is uh, either size 6 to 20 or 16 to 34 it's a very very classy uh, I would say like a Grecian style vibe timeless and versatile with a beautiful twist neck um, it looks like a halter neck but then at the back it had the straps um, yeah down each shoulder so very very versatile You've got the front and back seam, you've got side seams and pockets, so optional pockets. Um, the beautiful thing about the back is that you can have the regular back, which is the straight across back, or the really low featured back. And I know a lot of people love that low back feature. Beautiful feature with this, of course, is that gorgeous twist neckline. So it's given me kind of, yeah, the goddess Egyptian vibes. I absolutely love it. I can see it in a beautiful floaty viscose or maybe even a crepe or a georgette. It is also beautiful in linens and cottons and silks and that kind of thing so really really beautiful I definitely want to make this for summer it's one of the, the dresses I've just seen and be so desperate to make also in this collection that's echoing the dress is the Kaya swimsuit that is an absolutely beautiful swimsuit beautifully photographed Kaya swimsuit this is so so beautiful it echoes the feature of that twist neck um, and the in the swimsuit of course same size range 6 to 20 16 to 34 um, of course you can make it in a one piece which I love and I also love it in a two piece you've got the short or the long line top if you wanted to do the two separates that can be really handy and also you've got a great option with a built-in shelf bra having that gorgeous twist neck of course echoing the uh the ultra dress is just divine uh, I love it that you've got the different waist lengths and of course a four-way stretch fabric you need a good 50% stretch swimwear fabric you need a great recovery so 50 percent stretch um, so I am actually considering getting some swimsuit fabrics in the store let me know in the comments below if you're interested in sewing your own swimsuits last year was the first year that I ever did that and I don't know why it's taken me so long because it was so simple doesn't take much fabric and if you're like me and you hate shopping for swimsuits and you love being able to cater your own size pick your own fabrics it was just bliss to sew up and I've worn mine heaps so I am wanting to make one of these swimsuits I absolutely love them love how she's got simple classic colors there it's just um, so divine on all the different size models I think she's done a wonderful job there's also another swimsuit in the collection called the Marnie swimsuit it's a sleek and sophisticated very simple swimsuit either the one piece or two piece you've got your options for your higher scoop or lower scoop neck optional shoulder ties if you want that kind of detail and you've also got the option if you're doing the two piece for having that waist detail tie there so really really lovely patterns I will be getting these in store hopefully in the next month uh, and if you're interested in sewing swimsuits as I am let me know in the comments below because I'm desperate to get some fabric in for that and also are you a fan of plain swimsuit colors do you like a bold simple color Color or do you like a print um, because that's another preference a lot of people prefer a print over a plane but seeing these uh, modeled uh, really makes me want to make a plain plain color one but we'll have to wait and see but I have got my eye on some beautiful swimsuit fabric so I can hopefully get them over soon uh, and I love the fact that you can do a built-in shelf bra I think that makes all the difference to giving a bit of confidence and they're not very hard to sew having great instructions like paper cut patterns that will really take the work out of it for you and you can cater your own swimsuit so just wonderful
Um, something I've seen here that is very exciting, of course, if you follow Lisa Comfort from So Over It, you'll see that she's just recently, in the last 12 months, had her own beautiful hand-picked flower farm. She's getting her hands dirty and loving being in amongst all the, the beautiful greenery and getting, you know, getting into the dirt and picking flowers and planting. And it's just so wonderful to see that it's been really successful for her. So her Jazzy Rose Flowers is going really well. But I love how she's incorporated her pattern company into that as well. So the So over at Pattern Company has morphed with Jazzy Rose Flowers and you'll see she's come up with three patterns that are for the, the working person, someone that wants to, to, to sort of um, make something for their hobbies, something to wear while they're doing their favourite hobbies so that they don't get dirty. So of course she's got the overalls pattern. These overalls look fantastic on her. They're a size 6 to 20 or 18 to 30 and they look wonderful. And the great thing about these is that they're roomy, they've got a drawstring waist. So they're not your regular overalls to wear on their own. These are designed to wear over the top of other clothing if you don't don't want to get it dirty. So Lisa would look fantastic in anything, but it's just so wonderful to see her. Um, she's been so successful with this and really enjoying it. Here's the apron pattern, which is also fantastic for the maker that does uh, want to keep their normal clothing on, but pop a little uh, apron smock over the top and be able to whip it off and wash it quite easily. So the aprons are brilliant to have, even for doing things like your housework or painting. Um, even if you're like me and you do a lot of sewing and you, you tend to have those threads all over you and aprons are always wonderful to have and she's also got the hobby bag so that whole little um, ensemble set there is her new jazzy rose flowers um, sort of uh, collab with sew over it pattern so really lovely now the regular sew over it patterns they've released the beautiful portia knit dress this is a beautiful knit dress with a lovely twist featured front apparently it's not as hard as it looks it gives that lovely shaping at the front and also the options to do color blocking i love how they've done that on the cover size is 6 to 30 so saying a light to medium weight knit so something like a viscose knit a bamboo knit or a cotton jersey knit would be wonderful in this dress so i love a good comfy knit dress they're wonderful to wear all year you through and they're actually one of the easiest things to whip up as well if you want a nice quick so and also the fact that when you have a twist or something like the feature around around the middle section you want to bring some shaping in it always hides uh, things that you don't want to see maybe things that you want to not accentuate so much that draping and twisting at the front the draping and twisting around the waist area is always such a beautiful uh, style to wear if you're a fan of iron patterns and that's exactly what i'm wearing today an iron patterns pattern and that is the new range called i am relaxed a new collection for them because they do collections so well um, they've come out with the beautiful bob classic trench coat with so many options uh, a more simplistic style trench and i've got a so this year I bought myself a trench coat because I found one quite reasonable. I don't make everything that I, I wear. Uh, I wanted something fairly quick and I ended up buying a trench and I wore it to death. It's it a great versatile I think to have in the wardrobe for wearing over a dressy dress or even just a casual pair of jeans and top. Um, so now that I know I've worn it a lot, it would be definitely something I'd consider making to have as part of my me made sewing. So the Bob's a lovely trench coat and lots of different options there and also that nice mid weight woven size range 34 to 52 they've bought out the blue sweatshirt which is a beautiful sweatshirt lovely easy wear and also the option to make it into a sweater dress which everyone loves for for winter for being a bit cozy with some tights and the Mowgli sweater pants you can see where the theme's coming from the uh the jungle book from memory <laughs> the sweater pants are gorgeous really comfy elastic waist sweater pants so a great little um ensemble there and the gas the one I, what I love is the Gaston casual jersey jacket now this one you can either make with snaps if you've got one of those little prim tools Bavario prim tool the snaps are fantastic either metal or plastic snaps but you can also make it in a lovely quilt style jersey um, really just about any kind of knit fabric and also I've seen it in a really gorgeous velvety velvety type fabric something a little bit more special so a bit of an elevated cardigan and we all know how that kind of weather is when it's up and down you want something to throw on over so that Gaston um, casual jersey jacket looks fantastic 
And one of my favorite pattern companies, of course, Chalk and Notch, I've just got their new Shea dress paper patterns in. They've come out with a brand new top called the Aria top, but I love this. This is the Aria, it's size of zero to 30. You have two cup options, which is always fantastic. Uh, it's a woven bubble style top with elbow length sleeves, a really, really pretty top. This, you've got two versions of view A, has the high back with the bias binding or faced neckline. So you've got either option for that. View B has got a really dramatic low kind of squarish back with the ties across the top, which is stunning on. And you've also got a narrow or cropped ruffled hem. So you can really have it either which way. If you want it more simple, you can do that. If you're wanting to put that gathered hem around the bottom to add a little bit of detail, beautiful with a nice high-waisted pair of pants. So really, really lovely. And I can not only see this in just like viscose and nice soft rayons, but maybe something like a bubbly textured fabric, like a sea sucker would be beautiful for summer if you wanted to add that bit of um, sort of puffiness to it, a cotton lawn. It's a really beautiful pattern, that one. Look, sometimes we don't always want to wear a dress. It's great to have as separates with a lovely, simple bias cut skirt. I can really see that top being a really gorgeous feature. Maybe even like a lace fabric would be beautiful on that too. Now a very popular pattern company in my store is Liesl & Co. They've come up with two beautiful new dresses and I think I may have just about sold out of their paper patterns, but I will be getting more. The beautiful Kyoto dress and the Amarina dress. Now these are gorgeous, both of them in uh, linens, cottons. They both have really lovely neckline detail. And I think the Amarina has that shawl detail, but their patterns are always spectacular on. From what I've heard, a lot of my customers are loving the fit of their patterns. So I really love when you see a nice bold color linen in a dress and you know that you can see those style lines showing through. Um, so very excited to be stocking more Lee's Lion Co patterns. Now Pattern Fantastic have just released a gorgeous pair of classy looking uh, high-waisted pants called the Terra Pants. They've got a beautiful tailored featured really lovely deep angled pleats that fall into a tapered leg so really really lovely pants for showcasing a nice drapey fabric. They're just saying things like cotton, denim, corduroy, velvet but remembering the more bulkier fabric you have the more bulk you'll have around where those pleats are. So if you're wanting something a bit more drapey think about maybe a, a nice uh, lightweight cotton or a cotton linen or even a beautiful tensile linen blend. So the size range in this is 6 to 30 um, but beautiful for all seasons. I think this type of thing with a nice simple uh, button through shirt is always gorgeous on. Um, the beautiful new release patterns this week from Atelier Jupe. This is a worldwide release. We've just got our patterns in and they are selling like hotcakes. We've got the Atelier Jupe Alana dress which we spoke about in the vlog, Phoebe and I chatted about this with the beautiful three different types of waistbands. This is a really stunning dress, especially when you see it made up in their gorgeous print fabrics. And as always, Italia Jute patterns and fabric are so, so popular, but this Alana dress is just a gorgeous V-neck style with that nice yoke on the shoulders, that uh, waistband having those three different waistbands, one with elastic waist, which is great. It's always so popular. The ST shirt is another gorgeous pattern of theirs with a simple classic shirt. You've either got the camp style open collar or the regular collar and collar stands. So both of those patterns are sizes 34 to 52 and yeah both of them are in the store. The new release from Starlark, of course, they've come out with the Christina dress, which is a very classy looking shirt dress. A lot of really classy patterns at the moment, very simple, but there's always a bit of difference to the style element. This dress has a really lovely mid body yoke. Uh, it's got some seam line details, button through, you've got the a-line style skirt and shirt collar uh, and the bust dart. So a lot of shaping. I would say one that you probably may need to make a 12 for if you're wanting to get that nice fit. Because of all those fit details, I think it's always best to make a 12, but I really love how their patterns look on the body. They always fit so well. Um, this one is a standout in a crepe, a rayon or a silk. So I would love to see this one made up. It looks really beautiful on the models. Another pattern release that looks fabulous is almost like a whole wardrobe ensemble set. Now, Cashmere are great for doing this. You'll remember the Upton dress expansion pack and all the bits that go with it. This time they've come out with a knit option dress. It's a skirt dress, top pants kind of 
huge ensemble. There's up to 400 different versions you can get out of this pattern. So great value for money. The Grafton is a curve friendly dress top skirt. I'm going to show you some pics of all the options you get in the pattern. Size ranges is 12 to 32. That's US sizes. So it's about a 16 and up in Australian sizing or UK sizing. But the great thing is the cup size on this, you've got up to C to H cup sizes, which is always fabulous. Um, I love the fact that this, this is similar to that Upton pack, but in the, the knit version. So the thing I love about this is that beautiful square neck dress with that kind of side draped skirt. It's just beautiful, but look at all the options and all the different things you can do with this pattern. It's fabulous. So really great value for money to have 400 options. It is one I'll be getting in a store hopefully soon. Of course, the PDF patterns always come out first and the paper patterns come out a bit later. And don't forget, we are doing A0 printing. If there's any patterns here that you're wanting A0 printed, definitely um, you go through the website. You can order there. Yes. There's certain sizes you want. You are easily able to add into the comments and we can either print out now whatever sizes you want if you don't want the whole range and especially with size ranges having a 12 to 32 you get quite a large sheet uh, and it's always nice to maybe you know select maybe five sizes if you want to do it that way love this Grafton dress um, ensemble it is just amazing uh, I really love the way Cashmere Oats shows and features it on different size models but also just different um fabric so you can see how the same pattern will look dressed up or down that always do it so well now tammy handmade of course you remember the lovely naya t-shirt i made a few weeks back she's come out with a brand new pattern it's a cardigan pattern called the cara cardi size range is 6 to 32 um, and it's also fabulous to be made in lightweight jerseys and ribs and ponties or thicker sweater knits so she's uh, got really great simple patterns but very well done and very very nicely drafted and every time I've sewn one of her patterns um, I've really realized how simplicity sometimes works so well to showcase a nice bold um, you know plain color fabric these new named mimosa collots are fabulous I love how they've done them in a bright pink they are just gorgeous really really lovely give me that 40s vibe uh, size range on this is around a 6 to 28 they're saying light to mid weight wovens which is just exactly what we need here in Australia at the moment um, the slanted front pleats give a really lovely soft detail but the high waist is what I love they've got a super wide leg so nothing too bulky or um, a, a, a light to mid will give you that nice swishy floaty feeling if you're a fan of collots which i am uh, if you like the look of the skirt but the feel of pants on these will probably be the ones for you and the last pattern i have to share with you for the month that i have seen i just absolutely love this it's called the tazuti matea dress it is gorgeous the way they've done it in a plain simple linen size range is 8 to 22 which is fabulous and it's a simple dress but also can be made in a top so if you're not wanting to make that beautiful midi style with a frill the top's also fabulous to wear with uh, a linen pair of pants too but that is one i want to make and i'd also love to see it in a soft viscose or rayon fabric or maybe even in a print so if you find one of those those patterns that work well for both kinds of fabric for the more midweight linens or the softer viscoses they are really really great to have in the pattern stash so and as usual to really have that kind of modern chic twist to their patterns but very very wearable and a brand new release from Tazuti Patterns just today was these great looking Jensen pants. If you love a good linen easy wear elastic waist pants I think you're gonna love this pattern. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite pattern was there for the month. If you know of any new patterns that were released that I haven't spoken about, please write them in the comments as well because that way everyone can see and we can share all of our sewing love around and uh, yeah, a bit of inspiration is always wonderful. And I'm going to get cracking with sewing on my frocktails dress. I'm halfway through it. It's coming together really nicely, but um, time is getting away from me at the moment. I've got so much happening, but I really want to get stuck into some nice summer sewing. So let me know what you're up to this week and I will catch you all very shortly for the next episode. Take care and bye for now.